In the second half of 2022, the EU Commission wants to present a European Legal Act on media freedom. On Monday, they published a public consultation on this and ask all interested parties for opinion, facts and data. Entries can be submitted up until March 21st via the Your Opinion Counts portal. Independent media are guardians of our democracy. The media must be able to hold those in power accountable and serve all citizens. That is why we must ensure that the values of freedom, independence and plurality of media in Europe remain intact. This will be our guiding principle in drawing up the European Legal Act on Freedom of the Media, said Vice President of the Commission for Values and Transparency, Vera Jourova. But before we do that, we need to gather views and facts and think together about the best approach to ensure that the European media have the best possible environment to play their important role in society, she continued. The consultation has three main sections relating to media markets. The first section concerns transparency and independence. That means the control of transactions in the media market, transparency of ownership in the media sector and measurements of reach. The second of the conditions for the healthy functioning of the media, that means the perception of diversity of opinion through the public, media innovation on the EU market, and then the third, the fair allocation of state resources. That means independence of the public media, transparency and fair distribution of state advertising. As stated in the Commission's work program for 2022, the European Legal Act on Freedom of the Media is expected to be adopted in the third quarter of 2022. It will be based on the revised Audiovisual Media Services Directive, which already includes rules on the independence of uh, media regulators. It promotes transparency of media ownership and recognizes that editorial decisions should be free from outside interference. The initiative focuses on removing obstacles to the establishment and operation of media services. The aim is to create a common framework for promoting um, the internal market in the media sector in order to preserve the freedom and pluralism of the media in this market. It is in line with the EU efforts to promote democratic participation, combat disinformation and support free and independent media as foreseen in the European Action Plan for Democracy. In particular, the initiative will complement the recently adopted recommendation on the protection, safety and expertise of journalists, the proposed legislative package on digital services and the upcoming initiative to protect journalists and rights defenders from abuse of lawsuits, so-called SLAP lawsuits. In addition, the European Act on Freedom of the Media will be accompanied by measures related to the sustainability, resilience and digital transformation of the media sector carried out under the action plan for the media and audiovisual sector. A first call for comments on the European Legal Act on Media Freedom had already been launched on December 21st last year in order to provide views and insights on current and emerging problems in connection with the initiative, but also on possible political approaches, options and together effects. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.